Here we have the presidential vehicles. Now, let's take a look at the presidential vehicles here at the Henry Ford Museum in Detroit. We're gonna learn about the presidents and the vehicles that they rode in. Yes, there are just a few here, but it's pretty cool. We're gonna learn so much. The Reagan car, the 1972 Lincoln. It is an armored car. After the assassination of President Kennedy, all of the cars were armored. And this had a permanent roof. This is the Kennedy car, the 1961 Lincoln. Kennedy was assassinated in this car. It was modified to provide increased protection for the presidents Johnson and President Nixon. Do you see the flags? And the bulletproof glass and steps for security to stand on. Wow! Someone would hold on there and stand, yes. The bubble top, 1950 Lincoln. Both President Truman and Eisenhower used this vehicle. President Eisenhower was the one who wanted the bubble top. I like the bubble top, it looks cool. Yes, he wanted to be able to see the people. The Sun's Shine Special, 1939 Lincoln. Franklin Roosevelt rode in this vehicle. It was specially modified to make it easy for him to get in and out. He used a wheelchair. Yes, he did. Sammy rides in a wheelchair. Yes, she temporarily rides in a wheelchair due to her leg being hurt. Teddy Roosevelt's from circa 1902. It's a carriage, a very elegant carriage for a president. This is a very elegant Rome. Two passengers could ride in it. And that is the end of the presidential vehicles. It's called vehicles because that's a carriage, not a car. Yes. Thank you. You are welcome. Thanks for learning with me.